We are back now with our eclipse countdown, just three days to go. And so many eclipse hunters are already on the move. Try to find the best seat in the house. Whit Johnson, you're going to have a great seat and you're following it all. Yes, very exciting. Here we go. Good morning, everyone. Millions from around the world. They will be descending on the path of totality as the eclipse is expected to be the most visible in the U.S. and longest lasting in 100 years. T minus three days until parts of the world go black for the total solar eclipse, an event that won't be seen again in the U.S. for another two decades. We're both going to be in our 80s for the next one, so we can't count on being able to drive or fly for that one. Janet and her husband Neil, two of the estimated million people planning to travel to Texas for the eclipse. That's on top of the more than 30 million people already living in the path of totality. We've seen some partial eclipses here in Fresno before, but you know, seeing the complete totality where you can see the corona of the sun and everything would just be really awesome if the weather will cooperate. Mara and best friend Natalie chasing what will be their third eclipse together, hoping for clear skies in Indianapolis. We've got the chairs, we've got the glasses, we've got the, the hats. <laughs> We're all together, and so to We're all together. share this experience, rain or shine, you know, uh, rainbows or clouds, we'll, we'll see what we get. Eclipse chaser Mike Kentrianakis has chased eclipses all over the world, but plans to be flexible. It's getting to a staging ground or a pivot point, and then you check the weather. Being in Carbondale, I can go either north or south a thousand miles in hopes of finding clear weather. People want to be part of this event, an 1100% increase in searches, and that's for hotels, airfare, car rentals, private vacation rentals. Motels like the Northern Comfort in New Hampshire sold out now for months. I've received calls at the motel from people hoping I had a cancellation so that they could get closer. Owner Tim Stevens grateful for the eclipse economy boom. We're really in the middle of mud season and usually that's our downtime and this will be a great boost to the economy. And of course, my favorite eclipse chaser is my very own mom, Dr. Sharon Johnson Edel. This will be her seventh total solar eclipse. Here's a photo of the two of us back in 2017 at the eclipse in Madras. We also have a photo of my mom off uh, the coast of Libya in a boat in 2006. She's been all over the world chasing this experience over and over again. She'll be in Mazatlan, Mexico wow. this time around. Wow. So, yeah, I'm, I'm on my way to, to being <laughs> an umbra like <laughs> Yes. Yeah, but you know what? Hey, following family footsteps, right? Absolutely. That's better than following mom. But you know, a lot of people, Ginger, worried about the weather, what yes, they're looking like. following the clear skies, which are starting to look better in some places. Quick look at the map. Some subsidence, meaning sinking air, could happen ahead of storms around North Texas. That might be good. Up through Little Rock, Carbondale, we got a shot mix of sun and clouds through Indianapolis, Cleveland and Niagara. But best spot still looks like New England, like Vermont through Maine. All right. Mm -hmm. If you're not in the path of totality, yeah. you can watch the coverage right here. On, it begins on GMA and then continues at 1 p.m. with the main event starting at 2 p.m. Anchored by David Muir and Lindsay Davis right here on ABC and all our streaming platforms. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.